the kind of tantra kids who've gone really fucking deep. You know what I mean? We're not we're not the weekend workshop crew. We're like a year at a time tantric ritual, traveling the planet, reading fucking Sanskrit type of. You know, we in deep. There's a lot of talk that we would share, which is about like temple culture and the idea of like landing the temples and. It sounds pretty weird and culty when I say it outside of my sort of friendship groups, but what it basically means is bringing back a level of consciousness and awareness and sacredness and embodiment and alignment to stuff that would have been, if not common knowledge, readily accessible in, let's say, ancient Egypt or 14th century India or, you know, the Greek mystery schools or whatever. Like, there is for the thing that I just ramped up about the tech being super, getting super advanced, we're a spiritually retarded species. Because we're very external, you know, we've, we've, we've colonized the whole world, we go to space, which is fucking, to me, in my mind, epic. But the, the level of internal exploration um, for normal humans is pretty fucking low. You know, and, I, and I've, I've shifted from you know, I used to work in like factories and shit like that and just hang out with very regular, not particularly concerned with, with like anything outside of living life and paying the bills and raising your kids, which is, you know, it's what normal humans do. Like, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to sound like I'm condemning it, but the last three to five years, you know, I've spent around a lot of people that are spending a lot of time in meditation retreats or working with psychedelics or really going deep in various traditions and it's like fuck there is so much power and knowledge and depth that is we've just got fragments you know we're, we're these kids who are cruising around the planet trying to collect the fragments of what was left over that we can find and some of it like i don't even know that's is that bullshit or that atlantis come on man really you know like those kind of conversations because i have friends like dude there's so much evidence and these are intelligent you know people with doctorates that are well-traveled, that are successful financially, that, you know, that's their area of obsession. Regardless of what you believe, there's so much fucking knowledge about uh, inner reality that, that we don't typically have. You know, like I was a magic nerd since kind of 16, and as I've come back from all these adventures, there's like all these old books are still there, and I'm like, oh, I can now read these easily. I used to have them on my bookshelf when I was a teenager because I thought they were cool and I liked the vibe. But like, I'd pick up an Alistair Crowley book and be obsessed with him and go, what the fuck is he saying? And I'm like, oh, that's a reference to the Tree of Life and that's the planet Jupiter because that's about that. And I'm like, oh, I fucking have stacked up enough other stuff that I can just like, this dude is deep. This is about a, what we just did a piece of is um, from a meditation called the Middle Pillar Meditation, which was from the Order of the Golden Dawn, who were like um, 1800s, like esoteric magic ceremonial magicians who got their shit from the um, Hebrew mystery schools who got their shit from Egypt. So it's like, that's like a practice that's been around for, you know, 4,000, 5,000 years of aligning to the cosmos and embedding your centers with the meanings and vibrations that you want to create rather than being conditioned by like, oh, everybody loves Raymond is on the TV, you know? Like, I guess that's what I'm thinking about whether I want to or not. And, you know, all this shit about manifesting and the, the secret and law of attraction is, com is coming in vogue in the last sort of five, 10 years. And it's like, this is like preschool, you know? And so, um, I'm not saying magic's gonna save the world. But I think magic's gonna save the world. <laughs>